Okay, what I would like to show you in this video is how to use a tool that Google gives us called Google Insights to help find ideas for writing content and also to find out what is hot in our niche. Now to find Google Insights, you can go and type Google Insights into Google and it should be number one there. Now if you're not in the US or you're not in an English speaking country, you can come across here if your page loads in a different language and you can select the language that you want, but mine, I've already got it set for what I'm interested in. Now the search box here, you can type in anything, anything that you like and in fact you can type in multiple terms but we're going to just have a look at one particular term and then over here we can filter and we can filter by web search, in other words things people type in at the google.com search box, image search, that is people searching specifically specifically for images, news search, that is pe what people are searching for in the news section of Google, and product search, what products people are searching for. Now, one thing we can do to straight off is, let's have a look at the last 90 days, we're going to just do product search, leave this blank, all categories, and click on the search button and what this is going to do is it will go away to Google and it will find the hottest products at the moment in the last 90 days. Now not much of a surprise there the iPhone 4 breakout um, these figures down here is the percentage increase in searches for that particular phrase and so for air compressor there's a 600 percent increase in the number of searches at the moment on air compressors now the iPhone phone 4 has breakout. Now breakout I believe is about 5,000% increase so it's hardly surprising when Apple have just released the iPhone 4 that the iPhone 4 is breakout. Digital SLR camera 550% increase so these are giving you some ideas for niches that uh, or products that people are actually searching for at the moment. So it's a good way of finding potential ideas for sites but let's suppose you've already got a website and um, let's suppose that your website is on treadmills, for example. We can type treadmills in. Let's put the last 12 months and we'll do all categories worldwide and we'll just do a web search for now to find out what uh, search phrases people are typing in with the word treadmills at google.com. If we scroll down here to the bottom Best home treadmills, 200% increase, treadmill for sale, treadmill for sale, treadmill for cheap, home treadmills, Walmart treadmills, and so on. A quick note here, we typed in treadmills. If you do the singular, note that your, diff your results will be different. Okay, living treadmill, treadmill price India, treadmill, elliptical V treadmill, treadmill price, treadmill India, Colbert treadmill, elliptical treadmill, I just clicked on that, my mistake treadmill repair service. So these are phrases that people are actually searching for in the Google search. But let's have a look at products. And if you're doing a product search, I would recommend you use the singular. Um, I'll show you why. If we do the plural first, treadmills, and scroll down, you will see that all those words there, or nearly all of them, will usually have the plural treadmills. It doesn't really give us an awful lot. I mean, there are potential niches here, Sears treadmills, but Let's have a look at the difference we get when we actually type in treadmill. The, the reason for this is that when somebody's searching for a particular brand of treadmill, they're, they're usually going to type in the name followed by treadmill, not by treadmills. So we should get more brand type names in the product list now. And here we have some Jillian Michaels treadmill, Sol F80 treadmill, F63 treadmill, Sol F80, so the F63, the Nordic track treadmill. And what I would do is I'd have looked down here if I was doing a treadmill site or I had a treadmill site and I would probably go and look for reviews on Jillian Michaels treadmill. That's breakout. There's a 5,000% or more increase in searches for that at the moment. I think she's the, isn't she the woman on TV who um, is in one of those fat loss programs. Um, I would also look for these Soul F80 treadmill, Soul F63 treadmill, get reviews up on them. Anything that hasn't got a brand number I would probably click on like Nordic track treadmill let's have a look and what that does it then repeats the search but for that particular phrase and we can have a look down here Nordic track okay T5 treadmill that's at breakout 
So again, I would look for the Nordic T5 treadmill and do a review on that. So there's some quick ways of finding ideas for, for content for my uh, treadmill website. But there's really a, a massive number of different ways you can use this tool. And I just want to show you one last one. Let's have a look. And we've got a, a health website, let's say, and we want to find out what products are hot in health niches so that we can write maybe even a new section on the website. So this is to find more content ideas. I'm going to do product search. I'm going to product search just the US, all regions, 12 months, and then I'm going to select the health category and go across and do the search. And what I'm looking for here is just ideas on topics I can use on my health website. And if we come down here, 2010 calendar, not sure what that's got to do with health, but anyway, N97, not sure what that has to do with health either, but we could have a look at that in Google to see what N97 stands for. Crest white strips, those are those tooth whitening strips. Well, there's a good idea for a section on the website or even a web page or an article on crest white strips, teeth, tooth whitening. Mouth guard, heart rate monitor, whey protein powder, electric toothbrush, heart monitor, color contacts, and protein powder. These are the breakout, these are the, sorry, these are the increasing trends at the moment. And these are the sorts of ideas that you could then take and do a little bit more keyword research on. Maybe go to one of the tools like Word Tracker Questions and find out what questions people are asking on these particular ideas. Write content for your website and publish that content. So Google Insights, I've just shown you a small fraction of what this tool can do and how to use it to find new content. You can use it to find ideas for whole niche websites. The options here really are only limited by your imagination because you've got a backdoor pass to the Google database. You can find out what people are searching for. You can find out which terms are becoming more popular. You could do, if, you're, if you've got a blog, you could have a look and do the last 30 days or the last seven days to find out what people are talking about right now in your niche. So I highly recommend you go over to Google Insights, have a look, explore it a little bit, have a look at some of the features I haven't told you about, and above all, just find great new ideas for great new content and keep your websites up to date, on the pulse, using Google Insights.